guys, it's Elizabeth Stelz here and today I'm going to be explaining my Super Bowl 57 pick with you all and the reason I chose this special team to be my special pick. Okay, so the roster depth on both sides of the ball for Philadelphia is crazy. You have quarterback Jalen Hurts, you have wide receiver AJ Brown, and you have Devontae Smith in which Jalen has an intriguing spark of connection on the field with them. Okay, so now I'm on two of Philadelphia's top defensive players, Bradbury and Reddick. And I feel like there are going to be some phenomenal leaders on the field tomorrow for their defense. So you got Bradbury. He allowed the lowest passes rating of any defensive back in the NFL this season. And he ranked number three in the NFL as far as completion rate allowed, um, yards allowed per attempt, and passes defended, which was 17. So when I hear Reddick's name or I think of Reddick, the first small phrase that comes to my mind is best pass rush. So this man, y'all, he leads the team with 19 and a half sacks. And three and a half of those being postseason. Then when you think of that great Eagles defense, they have had 70 sacks this season, with eight of them being in playoff games. And they're also number three on the list for all-time sacks in one season. Talk about Jalen Hurts. Y'all have been watching this man since he first played at Alabama and transferred to Oklahoma and got drafted from Oklahoma. And I can honestly say he's one of the most underrated quarterbacks that I've ever seen like in my lifetime. He's one of the most underrated quarterbacks. So y'all, this is his second year as a full-time starter. He's through for 3,701 yards with 22 touchdown passes while running for 760 yards with 13 touchdowns. Y'all, I think his most improvement as a quarterback has maybe been um, being a pocket passer. Like he's able to get the ball out of the pocket like very quick, like with ease. And as I said, I feel like he's one of the most underrated quarterbacks. Uh, since he's been in the league, like there's been a lot of things that he's had to triumph over. So like to see where he is now from where he was, it's like, it's an amazing journey to watch. Um, like I said, like he ranked 28 and 29 in completion percentage as well as touchdown to interception ratio. But this year, he ranks number one in both. So I really can't wait to see um, what Jalen does tomorrow. I'm telling y'all, me personally, I feel like he presents and shows himself as you know having the caliber of an MVP. I honestly feel like this Super Bowl um, contains two of the most elite quarterbacks in the league right now, most definitely. Um, I feel like there's gonna be a quarterback battle tomorrow, most definitely, because each quarterback has a lot of talent and each quarterback has something that the other quarterback does not have. Regardless of how good Patrick Mahomes is, we both know he makes plays. He's a playmaker, most definitely. But I do feel like the Eagles defense is going to be able to put a halt to that and any connection that he has on the field with any player on the Kansas City Chiefs on the offensive side of the ball. I believe Jalen is going to be the better quarterback tomorrow. I believe he's going to outperform Patrick Mahomes. I feel like he's going to prove to everyone um, who he actually is on the field, that he's actually a dog on the field. Uh, I feel like at the end of the day, the Eagles have a better defense as well as a better offense. They have a better team overall. So if y'all haven't figured out, the team that I'm going with is the Philadelphia Eagles.